Hey guys, this is the leaf lard, kidney fat, whatever you want to call it, out of our home raised grass fed pigs. Look at that. This is some good looking stuff here now. This one is cutting it up. We can render it down. I'm going to make some of that real fine lard. Yeah. Mm. Some good looking lard there now. Okay, we've moved over here to our big cast iron enamelware pot. We found out that that one does the best. The cast iron seems to hold the heat a lot better than um, the stainless does. We've got the uh, temperature turned on. We're going to start rendering this stuff down. It shouldn't take too long because we don't have a lot of it. We just got a little bit off of both hogs. But we what we definitely wanted to keep this separate from the other because we feel like that this will be what we'll use on pies and pie crusts and stuff like that, pastry stuff that one of the cooks. Okay, we're less than 10 minutes into this. And guys, the leaf lard is rendering out really fast. Uh, we're going to put this in half pints uh, back there in the back. Because if it's leaf lard, we're only going to use it when we're cooking pies and pastries and stuff like that. Maybe Thanksgiving, Christmas time, or whenever one that wants to just do a, uh, you know, just a happy sometimes. Um, so we're not going to put it in big old pint jars. And we've got the stove set on about medium high. It's, it's medium, really. And it is really doing good. The bubbles look right like they're supposed to be looking. And what we're doing is every few minutes we're stirring it, trying to make sure that we don't uh, leave stuff on the bottom too long. We want to make sure everything is equal. And you can look back, you can see, I don't know if you can actually make it out on here or not. But there is some steam when you stir it coming out of it, which lets us know there's a tad of moisture in it still. So we'll keep rendering until the moisture is all gone out of it. We put just a, maybe three tablespoons of water in it to help get the process started. And we're going to let all that cook out when we render. But we don't know how much we're going to end up with, but we got three half pint jars to start with. We have more if we need them. We actually have them sitting on back here on the part of our stove. This is actually the warmer section. So we're not going to put these in the oven. We just have the uh, we have the warmer turned off right here right now. But we'll, uh, we'll turn it on when we get closer to uh, getting this stuff rendered out so that the jars are not cold when we put it in there. So. Okay, guys, we are now 20 minutes in, and look at this. This stuff is rendering at like a record pace. We still, we had to turn the control on down to simmer because it was just, I felt like it was just getting a little too hot, but it's still sitting there simmering, so it's still, it's still making some, making some lard out of it. So we're going to let it go a little longer. As long as I see them bubbles on top, it ain't through. Look at that. Ooh, Lord have mercy. That's some awesome looking cracklings there now. We're going to let it keep going at a very low temperature. Now we don't want to get it too hot for too long because this is leaf lard. We want to make sure that it's got that good snow white look to it. We don't want a dark texture. I just wanted to try to mash one of them there. She's like, I'll just mash that thing. Less than an hour, huh? Less than an hour. Just press them in the spoon there. As much of the fat out as we can.
Those look like they cooked out so much better. That leaf lard cooks a lot better. I can tell you that. Less than an hour. She's hot. So we're going to end up with about five jars at least. A little more than we thought, huh? six jars of leaf lard. We're going to label these as leaf lard so that we don't mix them up with the regular lard and use these only for special occasions. We're going to see what they look like when they cool in a couple hours. Okay guys, we have our half pints of leaf lard here. We rendered out six pints from our two hogs that we took off and had butchered. We're excited about that. Um, we did it, like we said, in the half pints because leaf lard is a specialty lard. It's not a lard we just use for everything. So this is a baking lard and pastry lard. So we're, um, we're excited that it turned out as good as it did. It took less than, less than an hour to render this out. And probably an hour and 15 to 20 minutes total time, which was not bad to have leaf lard available. So... Guys, when you talk to your butchers, ask them for kidney fat. Because that's what our butcher kind of looked at me strange when I said leaf lard. And I, they said, oh, are you talking about kidney fat? And I said, yes. So kidney fat's another word that's used in place of leaf lard. So we're excited here at Deep South to have our six half pints of our leaf lard. So thank you, guys.